Hey everybody, we're so excited to have one of our girl crushes, Tammy Lee Webb, as a guest today on our show. We fell in love with her workouts, Buns of Steel, Arms and Abs of Steel, and so many others over the past 30 years. We love her approach to healthy living and fitness, and she's helping so many women feel and look their best no matter their age. She currently offers one-on-one -on -one coaching, consulting, and custom exercise plans, and you can get her classic workouts to do at home as well. We know you're going to love her design your fit plans because of the convenience and support that she offers too. So without further ado, let's kick off the show. Oh, we're so excited. Yes. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview with us. Um, we yeah, have a lot absolutely. of... I have a lot of people that are, you know, getting to their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And so it'll be really fun to talk to somebody that stayed, you know, in shape and healthy, you know, throughout her lifetime. Right. And to share with us the changes that you may have had or that you are doing now, that's going to be, it's going to be fun. So um, you're such a testament that you can be fit and healthy and beautiful at any age. Um, has your mindset, nutrition, or fitness changed over the years? All the above. <laughs> All of the above. So as we age, we, you know, we change. Our body changes everything because our cells are always dying and new cells are, are, uh, are, are becoming. So we, we never remain the same. And when we're thinking in our 20s, oh, wow, we have a different mindset. Like there's nothing that we can't do. We're just... You, you know, we'll do anything, right. but you know, as the decades go by, you start to be a little bit more conservative in your thinking. You're not so bold. Um, you see your body change. And I think that was one of the things that I noticed first was in my forties, it was all of a sudden it was like, my workouts aren't doing what they normally would do. And why do I have this little muffin top over my jeans? <laughs> um, but because of my, my background and my studies in the human body and, and exercise science is that I knew that once the, the hormones change, so once your reproductive starts slowing down and you're not making estrogen and eggs like you were, it's other parts of your body that decides that they want to store the fat or where the estrogen's coming from. And that's usually around in the belly area, your hips and thighs. And so um, through each decade, in fact, I have an ebook, I haven't released it yet. And it's called um, Ageless Through the Decades. And it talks about what to expect with each decade because it's going to change. But with each one, you're not, you're not going to think the same as you did in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, and your 60s. You're not going to look the same. So you kind of have to get on board and go, all right, <laughs> I got to make some changes. And, and they're going to change physically with your food. For instance, like I grew up eating pasta. Um, my family is Swiss Italian. So we we had pasta, pizza, you know, all the, the flour stuff. And I can't eat that now. When I turned 40, I noticed that my body just wasn't processing it. And, and your gut is your second brain. So things will change in there and you've got to go with the changes. So your nutrition is going to change. It used to be that if you were typically when we're younger, we're working out more, we're moving more, right? We're all always on the go. We couldn't wait. It's Friday night. We got to go. We got to go out with our friends, right? Yeah. Well, it's Friday night and I'm looking to say, oh my, how much longer before I'm going to bed? <laughs> We're not going out and doing those things. So you can't eat as much as you did when you were younger because one, your metabolism usually slows down as we get older. And that's the thing that we've got to work on. <clears throat> Excuse me. When, we, when we're getting older, you've got to keep that metabolism up. So you've got to exercise. I mean, it is so important. But how you exercise is going to be different than what you did earlier on. So when you guys introduced me and you said 30 years, I'm like, really? Has it been 30 years? <laughs> um, so what I used to do back then, I can't do all of that now. And it doesn't really feel that great to my body. Although I still work out, I just make little changes here and there and to really listen to my body. I'm more connected to my body now to understand it and know its needs than what it was 
back probably when I did my first buns of steel tape. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. It definitely makes sense. So it sounds like, you know, you have to figure out what's working for you and then also maybe give yourself a little grace that like, uh, you know. Yeah. Don't be so of, hard on yourself. Uh, yeah. And I, I would say like 40 was the start of it. And then at 50, you're realizing it's not, <laughs> it's not reversing. <laughs> so you kind of have to go with the flow and, mm -hmm. and make some, some sensible changes and know that to focus on the things that are, are working for you and you kind of have to change, uh, get a new attitude. <laughs> yeah. The new attitude has been the hard part for me. I'll just say that because I'm turning 50 this year. So I'm like this morning I worked out and there were a few moves in this workout that were reminiscent of, do you remember jazzercise? Uh -huh. There were some moves like that where you did attitudes. And I remember doing jazzercise yeah. where I was jumping and doing that. And now I'm just like, okay, we're going to keep this low impact. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel so good. Like I don't jog anymore. I don't, I don't do a lot of high impact jumping, jarring movements. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't feel good on my joints. And, and one of the reasons is as we get older, you know, our joints, <laughs> like everything changes. So through our body, we have this synovial fluid, mm -hmm which I like to call our WD-40. And if we could sell it like that, oh boy, we would all feel really so much better. But so the joints kind of don't have that cushion and the, the, the protection that it had. So all that pounding is really hard on our body. Now that doesn't mean that we still can't do exercises. So when I, I still teach group X classes and I always give, um, modification so i'll say okay if you want to do this jumping jack or this jump mm -hmm. go ahead if not here's how we modify it M modify it you just alternate a step from side to side mm -hmm. because not everybody can do everything so like the two of you or if you were in my class obviously kaylee might go yeah i want to <laughs> jump and, and and you like me are like uh my joints can only do a few of those and so it gives you both the alternative but you're still working out you're still in that group class with me and we're we're still doing it together it doesn't have to be identical all right and that's so important to learn because even now and when i'm just watching a tape i felt like i had to match this trainer yeah. with that trainer so mm -hmm. that's been a learning uh, curve for me is like all right i don't have to look perfect she's done this for her whole life that is her job so mm -hmm. i've yeah. had to give myself grace there yeah Plus, I think I have kind of scared Kaylee on the jumping jacks because some of the women my age have been doing jumping jacks their entire life. And I'm like, I don't want to pee myself. And I get <laughs> so, she's like, yeah, that, another reason why we got to keep things uh, really strong. So the stronger your abdominals and your kegels and, and all of that will definitely help. But yeah, it is, it is feeling like, because we, we, we tend to shame ourselves if we don't aren't able to keep up with the others. So one of the things that I talk about in my group classes is there is no shaming in here. No shaming. Nobody is going to shame anybody if they're not doing what somebody else is doing. Mm -hmm. And so um, one day a week I teach a class to Bada and it's pretty fast pace. Mm -hmm. And I, and I encourage, listen, you are going your own pace. You must go your own pace. This is not about keeping up with the tempo or with the person next to you. You need to be an honor your body. Right. It's not about being with everybody else's and comparing. There's no competition here. So there, you, there's no shaming. There should be no shaming when it comes to exercising as we get older. And if we can't do it all, then you do what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that our next question was, you know, your biggest piece of advice, which I think we've covered, you know, honor your body at each um, age or each generation. Yeah. So I kind of wanted to ask, you said, go at your own tempo. How does a person know you know, you always hear push to your max or you're capable of so much more. Your, your brain is cutting you off. Your body can do more. How do you know, okay, I really should be pushing more or I need to let off? Sorry, uh, I threw that question on, on you. I didn't. <laughs> no, it's fine. Usually it's, it is um, perceived exertion. 
So you're watching, I'm always watching whether I'm teaching a class or training people because I do some personalized training as well. And I'm always watching, are they able to talk to me? So I'm talking to them. Hey, right. how's it going, Kaylee? Right. Tell, tell me your name. Yeah. And if she can barely get that out, then she's working too hard. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of times I'll just go up and I, because, <laughs> excuse me, I can tell is that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just say, hey, I need you to back back down a little just take mm -hmm. just take it off and sometimes when an instructor does that or your trainer does that you're like okay yeah. i don't have to keep up with the rest of them <laughs> and i get to slow down i'm yeah. going to yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so yeah it's really listening to your body and and people like group exercise i mean it's fun it's in a class and and i kind of noticed when you brought this up um kim was the way, like if I look back the way I used to teach, yeah, I used to teach in the form of trying to tell you what we're working at the same time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, um, but I also, I don't know if I hoot and hollered, but I had a lot more energy. Right. And today when I'm teaching, I don't hoot and holler, but I'm still talking, I'm still explaining what we're working. Mm -hmm. um, but I found myself not, like so high energy hooting and hollering and right. and and I've taken a few classes like that mm -hmm. and it it just doesn't appeal to me anymore right and yeah. I think that's just because of my age thing now mm -hmm. I I just I want to get in I want to enjoy it I don't want someone yelling at me yeah I want, want to motivate me of course right. yeah. but I'm I'm not the drill sergeant type of an instructor Right. And I don't, I don't like that on me at all. No, so no. everybody yes, has no. a different, a different need. So if that's something that you want or need, then you should definitely go for it. No, yeah. you are I, the reason we've done Tammy Lee Webb workouts for 30 years is because you are my soulmate oh, trainer. Yeah. So oh, thank yeah. you. Definitely. Yeah. And I think like, you know, she mentioned that it might be because of your age. Like I can, you know, like I just turned 31 and like I would watch people do these boot camps and stuff and like it just looked like it was killing their like I was like you're gonna hurt your back you're gonna hurt your knees you know like yes. you're gonna puke if you puke that's not good so I think that you know if you're younger that you still have to be mindful like of just watching like what you're saying like it shouldn't be something that we wait until we're 40 or 50 or 60 to learn like it's okay to feel okay doing what right. makes you feel good like don't just kill yourself because you feel like that's what's going to work like you can yeah. enjoy it and but it'll I, still work i think Haley, you have been um obviously a good example here because <laughs> not all 30 year olds are like that i remember um i won't say the club but it's a very popular well-known club asked me to teach for them Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I didn't need any more classes, but I finally broke down and said, okay, I'll, I'll teach one. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed that the young girls would come in and, and if I didn't do, say, 100 burpees within the first 10 to 15 minutes or do something that they, that they felt like was killing them, yeah. they would leave. So crazy. And, and so I remember going to the director and kind of mentioning that and and she said well maybe it isn't hard enough and i said well you know what maybe i'm not a right fit for this club yeah. because it i've been i've been doing this for 35 plus years and i've never been injured in a class i've never injured anybody in my classes and and i don't plan on it now i'm not going to do that just right. to get young people in there that aren't going to last very long. And that's, that's the downside is that a lot of times today, fitness is so accessible. You can get it anywhere, you get it on your phone, your computer, you just look anywhere, you can get a million workouts. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the reason that I'm not really going and producing new videos. I just do them on my phone. I do it with my design your fit plans, just keeping it, you know, within the little group is that, people are doing things out there that are just not that safe. Right. Yeah. But unless you know what you're doing, then you don't know that. So yeah. if a person looks good, they're mm -hmm. like, well, look at their body. They are ripped. They got great abs. They've got guns. And, and so they must know what they're doing. And that is not always the case. And the beauty about training women's 
especially your age, Kim, right now I've got most of my clients are in their 50s and their 60s. I have a couple that are in their 40s and they never come to me and say, I want a rock hard, you know, ab. <laughs> I'm, I want a bikini body. Yeah. That is not what they're saying. They're saying, you know, I want to, I, I still want to look good. I want to feel good. I, I, I want more energy. Mm-hmm. It's not about what it was in your 20s and your 30s. It's not that because we know that our body changes. Mm -hmm. And my philosophy has always been, fitness is about the inside out. If we could take a look on the inside of your body, what would that look like? Because you can take a very thin person and be very unfit. Oh yeah. So if you unzip their body and took a look inside, would you go, wow, look at that heart, looks great. Look at those muscles, they're so firm. And look at that liver, but we don't <laughs> see that. We can't, we only see the outside. And and that's why sometimes I, uh, I'm, w- when you're quick to judge others, mm-hmm. catch yourself because not everybody is what they are when you look at them. I mean. A lot of times, yeah, you're like, God, they just, they, they look good too, but they, it's also in the attitude. What does their skin look like? What is their, you know, their whole attitude? How do, how do they carry themselves? You want to be around those people that, that make you feel good. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Absolutely. And it has to fit into your lifestyle. Cause I know like you can look like the rock hard abs, but if you're having to do, that's the only thing you ever do, then that's just torture <laughs> like you know you have to live like, moderation yes yeah, have yeah. a good balance yeah <laughs> I like to have a slice of pizza every once in a while so absolutely I'll give up my six-pack abs yeah but going back on what you were saying on the 40 50 60 year olds I think my goal is to look good but I've seen so many people my parents generation or even my great-grandparents or grandparents um they just live I, I want to or they exist. I want to live life. I want to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. But you're a different generation. So um, it's the same with my mom. My mom now is um, turning 79 and, and it's just a totally different lifestyle. And, Mm -hmm. and although, you know, she kept moving as much as she could, Mm -hmm. it's not what we would do. Right. So, and I think even our, you know, like, Kaylee's generation, they, they do care. They want to keep moving. They want to look good and feel good. Mm -hmm. And when uh, when it comes down to it, if you ever get in a situation where you, your health, your health is, health is wealth. You must have that. So, um, in 2017, I broke my ankle in, in three places. Mm -hmm. I had to have a surgery, a plate and, Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I I got really depressed because I'm not, I'm used to popping up. Let's go. I got to go walk the dog. I got to go do this. I got, you, you just take it for granted that your body is going to get you where you want to go and what you want to do. Just taking a shower was a workout for me. Right. Yeah. I had to push my little stroller in there Mm at a scooter. Yeah. (laughs) I'd have to sit my, you know, stool and make sure my leg was out. It's just, I, I was just like, wow, I, I always want to take care of my health right. yeah. and taking care of your health is not just your physical body. Mm-hmm. And, and I know it kind of seems like that's what I was all about, but it really is your, your mental body too. It's an mm-hmm. emotional body. So when people come to me and they have, let's say they have a lot of weight to lose, That to me is, they have a lot of emotional issues that are contributing to that. So you have to find what that is because Mm -hmm. just working somebody out or putting them on a nutrition plan, it's a short fix Mm -hmm. because if you don't fix what the cause of it is, they will eventually go back to it. It's kind of the, what happened on the biggest loser, which I heard they were coming back now with it, is that you know, these people would go in and yeah, they're, yeah. they're in a confined area. They've got their trainers, the food that they can eat and, and they would lose the weight and they're with their pals and someone yelling at them and la 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 la. <laughs> and then nine times out of 10, the majority of them were putting all that weight back on, if not more. Because they mm-hmm. hadn't dealt with their emotions or what got them yep. there. 
Yeah, we, we really encourage that too. We are big like personal development and you know, some of our friends look at us like, Oh, you're reading that woohoo book. Like, you have, to, you have <laughs> yeah. to start with your mind first. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, we've talked, you know, talked about the mind. We've talked about fitness. So I'm kind of curious, what do you, two questions in one, yeah. what do you keep in your refrigerator and what sort of diet do you eat? Cause there's so many out there. And I think people are under the impression I've got to eat just the way Kim does. I have to eat just exactly like Tammy Lee does. So I remember people used to follow me around in the grocery store and see what's yeah. in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> then I just started throwing, you know, yeah. Oreos, popcorn, <laughs> all kinds of stuff in it. And um, I'll tell you what's always in my fridge. I just took a, a sip. This is my new crush. It's Topo Chico. Mm. Do you know it? The water? I haven't had it. We Have haven't you? had that water. It's sparkling water. So I love sparkling water. I think it's the fizziness of it all. But um, I used to drink a lot of Pellegrino, but now Tapo Chico is my, whew, I just love it. Um, you'll always find blueberries in my refrigerator um, and probably eggs. Yes. I always keep all those things because boil, I always have boiled eggs in there. If I need something real quick, a protein, no, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. Um, I try and make, be one of those once, once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. you know, but, um, I was raised on a farm. I, I, and when you say which diets, it's, mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I would say all of them. It's like, mm -hmm. I eat, like eating a little, uh, pie, uh, what is it? Um, paleo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little ke ketos. It, it, but I, it's not one. It is just not one. I mean, I will look at all of them, try them all. And it's just like, clothing not one fits every person mm -hmm. um the whole ke keto things you know carbs are good for you you need good carbs mm -hmm. good carbs um and how much you have and when you have them is important yeah. so people that just cut out carbs altogether that it's going to hurt you in the long run mm -hmm. um so the thing that i usually go by is I, I try and eat really clean and healthy during the week, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. If I've got something coming up and, and I know that there's going to be, I, I am a sweet girl. When I say sweet, it's like cake, cookie, yeah. um, you know, anything. We're an animal coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a, like one of those can, I don't like sugar candy. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like candy apples. I don't like, I, I like the real, the real stuff. Yeah. Real stuff. <laughs> and, um, so if I'm going to have that, one of the things that I do to get myself back into the groove is I will take two or three days and stick to mostly protein, mm -hmm. vegetables, and a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So um, I also, you know, wine. We grew up having wine with dinner right. because mm -hmm. we're Italians. And so I was always taught that's something you, that goes with food. Mm -hmm. So there's sometimes I'll have that with food, but it's it's not, it's not one of those things where like, I don't drink to get wasted. <laughs> it's, right. it, it's a part of a meal. Right. Um, but yeah, it's pro I just go protein and vegetables and keep it really clean. Mm -hmm. And it just gets me right back on, on track, mm -hmm. but everybody's got to find what works for them. Cause it's not the same for everybody. Yeah. And I've seen people that are, are, vegans and they will start to go heavy starch carbs yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that to me is that would have to be a real challenge mm -hmm. yeah I can't imagine <laughs> <laughs> well, I like my starches but they're not yeah. the healthy ones <laughs> yeah yeah and like you said yeah. pizza once in a while yeah it's fine right. uh, it's all of it is fine in moderation yeah. But you know when it's time to, okay, I need to clean it up. And that's where everybody is usually around January, right? They want to clean it up right. mm -hmm. and get back on track. And, and so it doesn't take much, but it does take consistency. And I think that's the one thing that people go, oh, I fell off the wagon. I'm just going to give in. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, you fell off. You have two legs, stand back up and jump back on. <laughs> you know? yeah. It doesn't have to be... Well, I can't do that. And some people need buddy systems, you know, mm -hmm. like, like you guys have a buddy system. Yeah. And so if you 
find that you work better having somebody with you because now you got to be accountable. Mm -hmm. Some you got, you can't let them down. You're there or someone to call upon. Mm -hmm. Um, some of my clients that need a little bit more motivation, I will send them text messages every morning with some, some affirmation or something, or even a video. Hello, good morning. You've got this today. I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. Um, just little things like that help. Yeah, they do. And I think hearing this will help people know that not, okay, I'm off the wagon. I've got to do keto. Keto's the magic pill. I've mm -hmm. got to do paleo. That's the magic. I think everybody, yeah. well, not everybody, but some of those wanting to jump back on or looking for yeah. that quick fix. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if they, you know, for some of them, they I say, oh, I got great results with uh, ketos. Well, okay, great. If you got great results, then why are you going back on it again and again and again? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, need find, you need to find that happy medium of yeah. okay so you go on it then why'd you go off of it yeah that's it yeah. so so if you go off for a couple of days and it's just like a job if you're working money through friday you know do that for your body too right i always say take care of your body and your body will take care of you right mm -hmm. absolutely so if someone's looking just to start getting healthy maybe they're you know have the 10 pounds or the 50 pounds to lose, what would you recommend them do to like start their healthy living journey? Well, so what I do with my clients, if they were coming to me, mm -hmm. is we, we do a evaluation and an assessment, both body and mind, mm -hmm. because if they do have more than 40 pounds to lose, mm -hmm. then we've got to look at the emotional issues and what's going on. What is it that is triggering that? Yeah. And, um, so we try and identify that, but as far as the workout itself, we start out, I start out really easy with them because I don't want to throw them in where they go, Oh my God, I couldn't move the next day. Or they're just like, I can't do this. Yeah. I want them to enjoy it. So mm -hmm. with each workout that I would do with them, I always bring in something new. We're going to do this today. Mm -hmm. We're going to try that. So they don't go and go, uh, same old thing. It's yeah. never the same. We keep it, we keep it interesting. So if they have problems like with maybe just even getting out and walking, I'll take them on a hike. Mm -hmm. If we're going to do abs, I might start with simple abs that they could do by just teaching them just to sit up, tuck the pelvis under, and like somebody was going to punch you in the stomach, you would contract mm -hmm. and then release and contract and release. Um, in the car, if you're in the car, turn on the music and you can squeeze your butt muscles and your abs. <laughs> and most songs are three to four minutes. I call this butt abbas, ultimate <laughs> And you can do this. And I do this when I go on long drives. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I will do this for 10 minutes and mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's a great little workout. Yeah. So it's not so traditional, right. but they're getting something until we can get to the next step or the next level that, okay, today we're going to try this. Yeah. And whatever I'm doing with them, I'm constantly watching them and say, and asking, how's that feel? Yeah. Yeah. Good? Where mm -hmm. are you feeling it? Cause yeah. I want them to talk to me. I want them to com communicate because I can tell immediately, you know how sometimes people start lifting a weight or something. And then, cause, and let's say I, let's do 10 reps and they get to six and then they start going like this. Yeah. Well, their form has gone, <laughs> their facial expression. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay, stop. Let's yeah. stop right there. Yeah. Right. And, and sometimes they're surprised. Well, well, you wanted me to go to 10. Well, not when you're going to torque your body to get there. It's not helping you. You're going to injure yourself. So I want you to stop now. Mm -hmm. Right. If that's all we can do today. That's all we can do. Yeah. Yeah. So I, when I take them through an assessment, I will have them do like push ups. Most women, mm -hmm. a lot of my clients can't even do one push up. Mm -hmm. And if they can't do one push up, then we do the modification on their knees. Mm -hmm. But every eight weeks, we'll go back and I'll retest them. Yeah. And they, they're blown away with how much stronger they are. Because women are really weak upper body, mm -hmm. they tend to be really weak. Now, the last thing I want to do is be in a home where I have a walker and I, you know, somebody's got to help me get up on my walker. Right. Yeah. I want to lift myself up. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. So the strength portion is, I feel like huge and something that we really do because mm-hmm. you start losing muscle at like 30. Is that right? Yeah. So training. And you, you, and that's why it's so important as we, as you get older, that weight training is in there. Um, because it, one, it, it's helping, you know, with everything else, the bones, but balance, I, I work a lot with women with just their balance. You would be surprised. So just simple balance exercise um, and, you know, contracting, lifting up in their core. But um, yeah, it's strength. And the more muscle mass that you have, the more fat that you can burn. Because uh, our bodies while we're sleeping are, you know, rejuvenating themselves. They're rebuilding. And so the muscles there believe it or not. It's like, I get really mad when I wake up earlier and I'm like, no, I want to sleep a couple more hours, burn some fat. <laughs> yeah, I like that approach. Yeah. Me too. So I, I really like how you bring your clients in like nice and slow mm-hmm. because they'll see results versus doing just one power, just like the diet. You know, I'm going to kill myself eating nothing but carrots one day. You're yes. not going to sustain that. Like yeah. same thing. If you kill yourself on a workout, you're not going to sustain that. So your design your fit plans, is this the same system that? So design your fit plans is um, a platform. It's a website Mm -hmm. and it's also an app, but it's on the platform Kajabi. So when you go to do the app, you have to look for Kajabi. And then if you're a member of design your fit plans, um, it'll pop up and you'll be in there. But it's where I took um, a lot of my videos and I edited them down. Mm -hmm. So it has, 10 minute workouts, 15 minute workouts and 20 minute workouts. And then it has like stretch and some yoga and things like that. So if you got went in it and you go, I want to do 10 minute abs. And then I think I want to do 20 minute cardio. So you just go to 10 minutes, look up abs Mm -hmm. and they're listed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, Mm -hmm. instead of this is abs is still right. Yeah. So you you can, you know, pick and choose. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of piece it together. But I also each month do a calendar with whatever new videos that I posted. And so when I talk about new videos each month, I usually post maybe three to four videos is that um, they're either still coming from my old videos. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some of them are pretty retro Mm -hmm. or I, I just videotape you know, from my phone. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're not high production. Mm -hmm. Um, cause nowadays you really don't have to, you're still going to get a great workout. So this month, um, come February, I just did a, um, quick little 15 minute hit. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's, you know, it's, it's high intensity. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I did a, a, a butt one, a buns one, but Mm -hmm. I did it with, I don't have it in front of me, um, the bands, but the bands that I'm using are the cloth bands oh, instead cool. of the rubber bands, which are yeah. much, much harder mm-hmm. because if you can activate the high glutes, mm-hmm. the, the upper side of that, then you're able to, the rest of your workout just, just flows. So you put those on and you sidestep, you external rotate, you lunge back mm-hmm. and um, it just, works everything there and it helps support the back so when you take it off you're like wow <laughs> what i'm glad i got it off and two it just it feels so good yeah. so um my clients that sit and work at a computer mm-hmm. i ask them to get up every 45 minutes mm-hmm. and to do some glute work mm-hmm. yeah. and just put that band on do a, a few you know maybe three minutes of side step step together step mm-hmm. and it activates that glute again and kind of supports you because sitting is the new smoking. Yeah, people okay. are sitting. They're just. I mean, we're all sitting right now too. Mm-hmm. But of course, when we're done, I won't be sitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So design your fit plans. I I do offer your own personal workout on there. Mm-hmm. So for an additional fee, design your fit plans is a is a subscription. It's eleven ninety nine a month, mm-hmm. or you can buy three a month or whatever, and you can you can stop at any time. It, there is no like, no, you signed up, so you have to stay on. You can right. stop at any time, jump back on. Um, but if you want your own personalized, 
then what I do is I have a, a consultation with you either like this on zoom or FaceTime or whatever. And I go over what it is that your goals are and what you're wanting to accomplish. And from that, I put together what the workouts will be and on design your fit plan. So you would go and do that. I, I love that. You have it for the month. Yeah. And then I just started adding some like little recipes, healthy recipes with mm -hmm. one of my friends who's a holistic nutritionist. Um, we added some of that, some, some tips. Um, we're going to be doing a, a, a challenge soon. I think we're going to do it. I think it's going to be March because we want to promote it in February and it's called Flabulous. Ah, I love that. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll be doing uh, posting that soon, but yeah, design your fit plans is just a place where I can put all of my videos um, mm -hmm. uh, as well as more. So whatever I post on there, I'll so show little snippets on my Facebook or my Instagram page, but I don't post the whole thing because that's for my, uh, your members. My, my members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, um, we have a private group on, on Facebook for that too. Oh, nice. That's so what I was going to ask. Do you have a support group? So yeah, we have a support group and, um, and there's well, some really dedicated women and they will get in there and they'll help each other and they make suggestions and I'll say, Hey, I need new ideas. What, what do you want me to, to do for next month what workout do you want yeah and that's really I'll cool, do it. Very I, cool. I, I love the idea yeah and i really like the idea that we could pay a little extra fee which is just totally worth it yeah. to get a chance for to talk to you and for you to help us design a plan because mm -hmm. i was wondering i was like yeah yeah i constantly want to work my arms because i want to avoid my legs so i might would need tammy lee to go no, yeah. you got those. <laughs> yeah, we tend to like to work what we like working and yeah. we ignore the other. I remember this was years ago um, when Kathy Smith, Jen Miller, Candace Copeland, and Carrie Anderson and I were on the cover of Shape Magazine. Mm -hmm. And so before we did the shoot, we all went into the gym to work out. And it was hilarious because mm -hmm. Jen and I, went directly to the weights because mm -hmm. we're the mesomorphs. The other three ectomorphs went directly to the treadmills. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. When they actually need to be doing the weights and we probably need to do a lot more cardio. Yeah. So you okay. gravitate to what your, your body that you like doing, right. but yeah. it's those other things that you don't like doing that, that need some attention to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody wants to start um, design your fit plans, we'll link it on the show notes, but is there a okay. way that you want somebody to get in touch with you or do they just need to go to the website? Um, if you want to just get in touch with me, mm -hmm. they can um, on, on Facebook, mm -hmm. on my fitness page or Buns of Steel, right. you can go in there and just uh, request an appointment, yes. okay. um, request an appointment or a phone call and, uh, uh, that's how you can get a hold of me. You can also send me a message. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. I okay. try and check every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that would probably be the best is just send it through Facebook or um, what is my email? You can reach me at <laughs> design your fit plans. It's D Y uh, yeah. F P at Gmail. Yeah. We'll find I don't know. How do yeah. people find uh, yeah, so there's different ways of yeah. yeah. So you prefer Facebook and then we'll still link everywhere. So mm -hmm. we'll put like your email address in the show notes and then the designyourfitplans.com we'll put that in the show okay. notes to make it really right. easy for people to find it. So it sounds really, really cool. Yeah, it sounds like oh I want to sign up for this. Very so cool. cool. So yeah, you could try it for a month and if it's not your thing, you know, you just remove the card and it's, oh. it's all good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been interesting the feedback that I've gotten because a lot of them, you know, the videos, some are very old. So the, mm -hmm. the production of it and the hairstyle the love it. Just doesn't get old. I yeah. mean, the exercises still work. Yeah, I, I still can remember the outfits and the abs and arms of steel. And I'm like, I want that outfit. I don't like to, you know. 
And some of it's coming back. I mean, we're, I know. you're talking about attitudes. Oh, that's so that. retro. Oh. I just did a show. I'm, I can't say yet because we're told not to for a celebrity. Mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of a, the theme was 80s, mm -hmm. which kind of cracks me up because I really was the 90s, not the yeah. 80s. And um, so they wanted me to wear, you know, the leotards and stuff that I wore. And they're like, well, can, can you bring some of your leotards? Well, I'm like, I don't have any thong <laughs> leotards anymore. <laughs> go, oh, our stylist will get it. And sure enough, you know, it's all that shiny stuff yeah. and the leotards and the ties. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. very retro. Yeah. So that's, I don't know when it's going to be coming out, but once they give us the okay, I'll be, I'll be posting it. It should be yeah. fun and you guys can see it. Yeah. yeah. I can't forward to seeing yeah. it. So. Thank you again so much for yeah. hopping on with us and sharing so many good tips. Like yeah. I feel like we have nutrition tips, we have fitness tips, even some mental tips. Like it was really good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anytime girls. And like I said, if anybody has any questions, I'm giving, I do free 15 minutes consultations. Mm -hmm. Um, when, when I have it uh, right. allowed in my schedule. So mm -hmm. you can do that on my Facebook page. You can just go and schedule it and, um, and yeah. So cool. very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again. Yes. And You're welcome, ladies. Thank you so much.